Um, I'm going to start off with a brief bit of video, just because it does a nice bit of uh, background on the Berkshire's currency system. The, the LEP system in the North Shore has, um, uh, I'll hold it, um, has been around for something like 20 years, uh, but it was a check exchange system where there was a bank <coughs> and people would write a check to a vendor, the vendor would have to take it back to the bank. It was relatively clumsy, um, but still pretty effective for developing local, um, local business. Um, we are, we've been shifting to a currency-based model, which is uh, which the Berkshires system um, is. And so I hope this plays all right. I might need some help with the audio. Your local chocolate and local bread using bird shares, you save 10% and help the local economy in the process. Guido's has already taken in 100,000 bird shares. I've seen faces more frequently, which is great, and I would hope to say that it was because of bird shares that made that happen. The brothers who co own Guido's say the 10% hit they take when they convert bird shares back to dollars is worth it because it sets the store apart from the big box supermarket across the street, which doesn't take Burke shares. In fact, none of the chain stores agree to participate. Oh, well, look, everywhere I go, the store issues Burke shares, and, um, and I do certainly have a warmer feeling for them when they do that. But it's not just about warm feelings. But you think of Burke shares represent a quiet rebellion against globalization, and money talks. Shop owners report some of the business lost to chains and the internet is returning. I, I have seen a reasonable increase in traffic, particularly by people who are dedicated to the Berkshire's ID. And the town has even bigger hopes. Like many communities that have lost their manufacturing base, young people here are often forced to find work elsewhere. Berkshire's goal is to one day provide loans to encourage startups right here at home. This is also based on local trust. And the lo well, local trust is something that's embedded in each person and in each exchange. is isn't something that you can look at a credit report for. In a way, it's social currency. And in this town, you can take that to the bank. Stephanie Sai, ABC News, Southern Berkshire, Massachusetts. I'm Dan Harris for everyone here at ABC News. Thank you for watching. So the, we missed the first 15 seconds of that, which showed people going to the bank, buying Berkshires um, at 90 cents on the dollar, uh, trading one-to-one -one and selling it back to the bank, literally the bank, um, uh, at, at 90, 90 cents on the dollar. Um, we do it a little differently, but not dramatically differently. So this is, um, this, these are the faces of our notes. And um, we are in the process, as I said, of re, uh, relaunching. Um, our currency. Uh, we've got a bunch of, of members uh, and a bunch of, of vendors. Uh, Susan, who's back there, has a, has a list of the vendors uh, that we're, we're trying to also sort of re, restart the enthusiasm of. Um, we have a, a listing of those. The, the initial checkbook based <laughs> system um, started where you, you were essentially loaned by the Lex Bank $500 worth of value which um, you were expected to pay back at the end and you use that to trade with your uh, with your colleagues uh, in the community and that initial stake meant that there was an awful lot of of, um, of trading going on uh, over time certain vendors ended up with way too many and it meant that um, uh, for example uh, Sugar Moon, uh, Sugar Moon Farm, uh, Farm Cafe, Sugar Moon Farm, um, which is a, 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 a maple sugar producing, and it's, it's a restaurant. It's a wonderful place uh, down in Earltown. Um, ended up with a great surplus without being able to find people to sell them eggs, sell them uh, sausages uh, at the scale they needed. Uh, it was, a, it was it tended to be sort of smaller producers. So it, they ended up with a surplus that, that was really troublesome. And because it was a debt-based system, right, it, it loaned people 500 bucks to start off with, later on it became $200, but still the point is, 
it was a deck-based system rather than a, a even-steven kind of system. Uh, those imbalances um, resulted in, in some difficulties. Um, so we began the, the switch over to, to these let's notes, um, thinking that a currency-based system would allow um, a different kind of model to emerge where it was something that was uh, uh, provided as change, where it would be something where the, the, the guy who provides firewood um, could use it the same way that a, that a restaurant could take some, um, and that it would extend out to more people than just full-fledged members, who in order to be a member, you had to be willing to trade, have something to sell, as well as something that you might want to buy. With currency, it, it, it changes the, the dynamic. We had a design competition um, to design the notes. Um, Captain Hughes, where, oh, there you are. Raise your hand. Um, won, the, won the competition. I should say, I was the only, I was the only entrance. <laughs> Hand symbol. Oh, oh, the, the, the shaking hand symbol, that that's correct. Ended up being included in the. That's right. The, but the. the, um, the but across the. On, on, the fa on one face, we have a, a three season um, landscape of the, of the region. And then on the other side, we have um, uh, full of the, um, the flora of the, of the area as well. Um, when we moved to this currency, we recognized that we needed to be clear about um, people's disquiet. Well, you could just put that on a photocopier. Um, how do I know it's real money? Um, so part of the approach that we took was to um, use a professional printer um, that the Advocate uh, Printing Company was able to have some specialized paper that has a real nice feel. It's high linen. Um, it feels like currency. Uh, we had a gold stamp uh, of the, this, I don't know if you can see down here, the, down here is uh, a gold stamp of the shaking hands, which your average photocopier can't produce gold foil, um, and very fine, fine grained printing, um, which is also difficult for your average laser printer or uh, inkjet printer to, to produce. They also each have a serial number um, and a few other elements that make it make it hard to, hard to uh, to replicate. Um, the uh, they're beautiful. They're fun to fun to have. They're currency size, um, and it it, uh, it got some good initial um, uh, response, and then. Um, it sort of was more abundant for a while, and over the last, what, three months or so, we've been reviving it. Um, and part of that reviving is to make sure that we have, the, the relaunch is to make sure that we have um, the, uh, a good mix of vendors, as well as producers, as well as sort of people aware of, of, of the, the currency itself. One of the goals that I have is to make sure that we get beer and chocolate. Because if we can get beer and chocolate, then we're golden. <laughs> oh, there's a chocolate maker and there's a beer maker in town. So, um, so we'll, we'll see if we can make that happen. Um, the a local economic, uh, well, local currency is something which a number of studies have demonstrated it strengthens the local economy because the money is not fully fungible. It can't go off to Halifax. Um, it can't uh, support multinational organizations. It, it, you need to spend it locally, and so you do spend it locally. So you choose to spend that currency um, with local merchants, uh, local service providers. Um, it might be cheaper for me to get a solar panel um, on eBay, but if I've got less currency and I can go to the local North, what's the name of the summer? Nova Sun. Nova Sun. Um, thank you. Um, 
and support local business and use my Lex dollars, my Lex notes, excuse me, um, then it, it, I'm more likely to support that, that local business. Um, and uh, when you have economists um, making these kind of judgments, it's not, it's not quite the, uh, uh, the just sort of the hope and prayer kind of approach to this. They are bought and sold at 95 cents on the Let's Note, meaning um, that if you go to the equivalent of the bank or one of the vendors who are going to be a bank, um, you, you pay, um, if you're going to get a $100 worth of Let's Notes, you're going to pay $95 uh, out of, of, the, of normal currency. Normal currency. Canadian currency. <laughs> um, when you're trading, it's one to one, but when you sell it back, it's again 95 cents, and that's an incentive. It, it's not much, it's not more than Visa charges, but also beyond that, it's an incentive to spend it locally rather than to turn it back in for currency. Um, the, the funds from the, the selling of these notes at the bank or from one of the vendors um, goes back into the bank to then be able to be redeemed. So this, um, this is also appropriate for our particular place in Nova Scotia, which is um, we have tourists here. And if tourists buy a, or, or get in change a $10 let's note and take it home, that's $10 that stays in this community, which is a, a, a special bonus. Um, Really, that's, that's the, the heart of this. I don't want to belabor my time, because I've only got two more minutes left. Um, but if there's any quick question on this particular, I'm happy to answer. Yes? If the sort of cost and the mechanics of doing printing, did that become a bit of an issue? Well, the, the, for those in the back, the cost and the, and the mechanics of printing, is that an issue? Yes, it, it could be. Um, we were able to uh, have a bunch of fundraisers to pay okay. for that initially. So right now it's not. If, if it is gangbuster successful and we have to print $500,000 worth of notes, well, then we will have probably succeeded sufficiently. <laughs> <laughs> Two people to afford it. Yes. But you said that if a tourist buys a let's note and takes it home, then that money stays in the economy. Stays in the Tavnagush economy. Okay, but they buy a let's note from a bank? They buy a let's note, they can, they can get it a change. From you know the oh, okay. right, I see. yeah, or they, might, I see. or they might buy it. They might buy it so that they can take it home as a souvenir. But that would be it's I not mean, a bank, but bank. Our, our bank. From our right, bank. it's our bank. Right. Uh, yeah, uh, right. Yeah. 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 We don't yeah. have Scotia Bank on, on the bank. board yet on the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 so it's not exchangeable in Halifax. It's exchangeable only here. How far does that? Radius that we use that. Yeah, we, we, we think of it as sort of the Wallace to Picto right now. Um, yes. But um, that I think we could go as far as New Glasgow, probably as far as Amherst. Amherst. Anybody who wants to use it in the North Shore could, could if they wanted to. So it's more uh, up to us to go and approach it. Let's we'll see if we can. Spread it out. Any vendor. Any vendor who wanted to, to accept it or yeah. Uh, what keeps it from spreading beyond? Like if you if, if someone decided to change Let's Notes in Halifax. If nothing stops it. Nothing? Nothing. No. Yeah. So it could easily become well easily. It could become it, the Scotia's currency. Could, That's yeah. right, it could. Yeah. It's unlikely, but it could. Um, it is driven by volunteers, and if there's anybody that you know in the area that wants to volunteer to help push this forward, uh, please let us know. There's also a sign-up sheet out there if you just want more information as we promote it. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.